Hello, my name is Angelo Zong. I have been a student at St. Dominic since 2010 to 2021. I have completed the IB Diploma with 43 points and I am currently studying economics at Nova SB in Portugal. Hi, my name is Alex or Alexandre. I was a student at St. Dominic's from 2011 to 2018. I finished the IB with 44 points and now I'm studying medicine at Imperial College in London and I'm also doing an intercollegiate degree in global health. Hi, my name is Jack Love and I um, was at St. Dominic's from 2015 to 2020. I graduated in 2020 with a score of 42 points. I'm now studying um, a Bachelor's of Science at the, at the London School of Economics in International Relations. Hi, my name is Eleni. I was a student at St. Dominic's from 2015 to 2018. I completed the IB Diploma with 40 points. I'm currently studying for a Master's in Economics at the University of Warwick and I've also previously gained a Bachelor's in Economics, Politics and International Studies from the University of Warwick as well. Hi, my name is Yulin. Um, I studied at St. Dominic's from 2012 to 2019. Um, I graduated with 41 points and I'm currently studying Politics, Philosophy and Economics at the University of Oxford. To me, St. Dominic's represents a home. It's really where I met a lot of my closest friends in life. For me, St. Dominic's was a great chance to experience the international um, environment that the university provides. Um, I can recall there were more students from you know, places around the world than there were from Portugal. And to me, St. Dominic's represents unforgettable memories of fun times with my friends and my classmates and also developing lifelong friendships. Uh, for my time at St. Dominic's, it was a really diverse and a really um, international environment where I got to learn about lots of my friends' cultures and their traditions and it really opened my mind up to, to seek out these different experiences and different interactions with different people. It was very important because it gave me sort of experience and a sort of um, idea or knowledge of what it's like to be in university because, you know, here at university, especially at the LSE where there's 70% international students, um, you know, this is a talent, a sort of uh, the ability to um, interact with these different kids in different places is a, is, a, is a good talent which is something that's very necessary for me. Um, it also represented to be a really um, engaging environment uh, for the most part where the teachers are there to push you to be more passionate about what you're doing and uh, help you contribute uh, more to, to, to your thought without just you know looking at the textbook but also thinking outside the box. Um, so those teachers were really really great and they helped me develop a deeper passion for the subject which was very appreciated and also where I go to learn what I wanted to do professionally for the rest of my life. It also represents the stepping stone for my studies in economics and also soon for my career. St. Dominic's is where I discovered my passion for economics for the first time and I also gained a solid academic foundation in this field that still comes in handy to this day in my master's studies. It has definitely contributed a lot to me um, studying in a really diverse environment as well and it's helped me cultivate this really open-minded and um, analytical and critical perspective towards things in life. So it's definitely been very helpful. Um, St. Dominic's also taught me the value of working independently. Um, in university, you're basically given a go uh, on, on your own. And um, yeah, that was something that was very, um, I was introduced to in uh, St. Dominic's that I wasn't introduced to here. Uh, also, in terms of my application process, uh, St. Dominic's was helpful in that um, Mr. Gibson especially um, provided lots of information, lots of guidance on how to get my application through and um, uh, it was especially difficult obviously because of COVID but everything worked out. And also my friends, um, I have friends who are in different corners of the world now as we all go to uni so it's really fun to, to kind of catch up with them and see what they're doing and uh, you know, have the excuse to, to sometimes, if they're close, have the excuse to go wherever they are and um, catch up to them and experience a different city at a different time. So it's really, really valuable to have this international network uh, of people uh, and friends for you to exchange ideas about and, you know, when, when we're all back in Portugal to kind of catch up over life and so on.